Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Life Stories. We continue with Hanifa's story. Seven years into the marriage and she realizes the man she thought was the man of her dreams actually almost shattered her dreams. The wedding, graduation and firstborn child celebration never lasted long. A congratulatory text message Hanifa received from a former male classmate on the third day after she had given birth was enough to annoy her husband so much that he gave new rules and regulations as regards Hanifa's life if they were to stay married. Uh, tell me about the first moments of your marriage. Were you excited or were you scared? Because you told me you had two years of getting answers to your questions, but yes. you seem to have had so many other questions still, even when you got married to this gentleman. At first I had the excitement. Given my dream, eh? because uh, coming from a struggling family, I wanted to see my sex myself succeed eh? and push up my siblings. Eh? So seeing myself getting married to an educated man, moreover of my religion, I saw that as an advantage to help me chase my dream. Eh? And uh, yeah, actually my excitement was basically along that line. Eh? Not the passion. I later realized that there was no passion. <laughs> I put consideration into other things like having a successful life, having a brighter future ahead of me in terms of my education, my, my lifestyle, but love. You, you did I not did not think him. about love. Eh? Mm. Did I you thought about realize you didn't love him? Yes. <laughs> Yes, mm. I did. Mm. I did. Actually, I did and I was like, I think I'll learn to love him. You mentioned that at some point you realized you did not love this man. What made you believe that you would learn to love him? I had related with different people. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in school, you have so many friends. You know how to deal with different friends that you have got, different attitudes from your different friends. So I was mm. like, I think I will learn to live with him. I mean, you judged it at that level. Because marriage is a lifetime thing. It was thing. marriage, yeah. Mm. It was a lifetime thing, but I was like, you can always model mm. a person to what you want, Justin, mm. because I'm a person who talks. So I thought that through communication, mm. we can reach down. So he was not what you want. But you I thought realized, you would model him to what you want. After getting to, into his life, I realized he's now what I expected him to be. Mm -hmm. He was too good before I got involved with him. Mm -hmm. He was a very good friend. Mm. But when I got married to him, I found a totally different person from the person I knew for the past two years. What did he become? He was so conservative, so authoritative. Mm. After a year of marriage, I gave birth to my first daughter, Zaiton. And like I told you that I'm a very social woman, I had so many friends and uh, my friends, I thought I would maintain my friends and they would become his friends, just like I had accepted his. Eh? But I realized he was rejecting my friends. He, didn't want, he did not want my friends to come in his house. He would tell me he doesn't want my friends in his house. He does not want some friends with his wife. Everything was his. I was his wife. I was in his house. So he decided on what went on and what did not go on. Hanifa did not know that getting involved with Faiza Wiyinza would crush her family's hopes. This man hit her with a surprise after her graduation that she was to become a full housewife. No career. Then you're fully a housewife? But Were you allowed to work? Were you? <laughs> At first, no. Mm. He told me um, I will not work. He cannot allow me to go out to work. I should sit in the house to provide everything. A PhD holder thought that you, you were educated <laughs> at that time. At house. that time, he was a master's holder. Even if he was a degree holder. Exactly. In the 21st century. Yes. He thought for you, you were educated. He would sit at home. He frankly told me, I've got to sit at home. He will provide for mm -hmm. everything. At first, I, 
<laughs> I accepted. I was like, okay. I, was, I, I agreed and I was like, I think with time I'll convince this man. Hanifa's pleas for her husband to allow her work and help her family fell on deaf ears. For seven years, she obliged and stayed home to cook for him and care for their two children. Justine, you can learn, you cannot live without a friend mm. to lean on. No friends allowed, he won't talk to you, he won't have lunch at home, he won't no. blah blah blah, he won't do it. No. It's, it's you really will not sad go because out. <laughs> it's a very common, <laughs> yes. you think that people ignore exactly. it, but it's a very common That's why I told you I'm willing to talk about this because so many women are undergoing this mm. and they really do not know mm. how to go about it. For a long time, Hanifa had requested her husband to at least let her do her master's degree as she had planned, which Buyinza also rubbished. An incident where Buyinza cheated on Hanifa turned out to be a fortune for Hanifa because to make up for what he did, Buyinza allowed Hanifa to continue her studies with a master's degree. I remember even when I made my, when I expressed my interest to go for my master's, he rejected it at first. He said he could not. But then later, you know, there are always those good moments. Eh? Mm -hmm. In a bad relationship, there are also good moments. So I could get capture those good moments and convince him into certain decisions. Eh? Mm -hmm. So at a certain point, actually, I managed to convince him into applying for my master's. And he agreed. And I did. I applied with the with the University of Nairobi, and uh, he allowed at that time. Then, in the middle of, of in the middle of it all, between application and uh, admission and admission, things got, things got really worse. Eh? So worse that I got scared. I knew I would not go, but thank God something happened in between. He messed up somehow like a man and I threatened to leave the marriage. I quit and went back home. So and the condition for me to come back was if he allows me to go for my masters, mm. I come back. Which of course he had to accept to of course. cover up his shame. <laughs> yes. Mm. So that's how I got my way. And I went to Kenya mm -hmm. for my masters. How long were you in Kenya? Two years. When Hanifa went to the University of Nairobi in Kenya for her master's degree, her husband Buyinza also went to Europe to offer a PhD. By this time though, their marriage was on the rocks. The man was so jealous that he always accused Hanifa of infidelity, which Hanifa asserts was untrue. He went for his PhD for three years, I went for my master's Where for did two he go years. For his PhD? He went to Europe in Austria. And what was the marriage at that point? I, I don't not know. What, long distance marriage? <laughs> not good, yeah. Mm. Not good, of course. By the way, you, I, I, I realized that I was able to keep that marriage going because we were apart. Yeah. In the same house? Fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. But when we are far away from each other, everything is fine. Mm. <laughs> yes. At this point, you still have one child. I had my child with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened when you were done with studies? No, in the middle of my study, I, I knew I knew that uh, as I go away for my masters and he's away for his PhD, mm -hmm. that would be a gateway to end this. Mm -hmm. And actually, I made the attempt. Mm -hmm. Had you tried other means like? counseling from a relative or from a professional counselor? I had tried all means to the extent of engaging my own dad because I know my dad is the best counselor ever. So I tried to connect him to this man so that they can become friends and see how to go about it. But still things did not work out. Eh? Mm -hmm. So while I was in Kenya, he was in Europe, what shocked me was he made allegations of infidelity. Mm. And uh, I used that as an excuse to end the marriage. You're still watching life stories. You just heard Anifa's story. Very, very, very long journey. We shall continue with where it ended or where it's still going after the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 